Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a project plan or a Gantt chart in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this dynamic Gantt chart. Here we have activity and we have different tasks. You can put your original task name. I have taken here some sample tasks like task one, task two. Then we have the start date, end date, duration of the task and we have the status also. In the status we have pending, WIP which is work in progress and completed. And here we have the timeline of the can chart and we are showing here these bar according to the duration. If we have 4 days then we are taking here 4 days, here we are taking 14 days. And the color also getting changed according to the status. For example, if we have the status as pending, then it will be red. If we have WIP, which is work in progress, then it will be yellow. For completed, it will be green. So this is all dynamic. You can change the duration. Let's say in place of 14 days, I want to take 10 days. Then here you can see this bar will be changed automatically or let's say 20 days then this is getting changed. All right. Now I will explain you how you can create this in Google Sheets. So please watch this video till the end. I will explain step by step. So let's click on this plus button. We have C2 here. On A3, we will put a start date. Start date and on C3, we will put end date. Okay. And we will start our Gantt chart from a5 so let's put here activity then start date here and take here end date and here we will take duration and here we will take status for activity for now i'm just putting let's say task one and i'm just filling it down till task 15 for the start date, I'm just going to copy this data for now and let's paste that here, shift control B and let's copy the duration also, just copy and paste here, shift control B. So we are pasting only values, okay. To calculate the end date, we will take this value plus duration minus one and just close the bracket and just hit the enter just fill this down so we have this range from first to fourth which is four days including first second third fourth and duration is four days okay now select this range and right click go to the drop down we will add the drop down here so first we will take pending and color for the pending let's take this light red then second one we will take WIB which is for work in progress. Let's take this yellow color. Click on add another item and we will take here completed. And let's take this green color. Click on done. So here we have pending WIP completed and we can fill this in this range. Select and paste for now. So we just have filled the sample. You can change it. So let's change the size of the column to get the start date we will use the min function here min and select the minimum of start date so select this range close the bracket hit the enter so we are getting the minimum date here which will be our project start date project end date will be the maximum date so we will use here max and we will select this range and just close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here maximum date now we will start the date from this column. So I'll use here equal to and I will select this cell and just hit the enter. So we are getting here our start date. In the second cell, I'll use equal to and this date plus one. So we are getting the next date. Okay, now we can see we have the column till Z only, which means we have only 26 columns. So we have to insert few more columns. So let's select this range, right click and insert 19 column right. So we have more column now. So let's fill this right till 4th Feb. 
will more we have till 6 fab okay now we will format this so select this date go to the format number format and we will go to the date format and here we will select this d dash mmm click on ok now we will go to the format again and we will go to the rotation and we will take this rotate up okay now press ctrl space to select all columns and we will double click here so that it will be auto fit all right we can reduce the size font size here take around it and make them bold all right now here also we will reduce the font size for these cells and we will take around 9 now select these all align them center and align vertically also middle okay now select this range fill color let's say here i'm filling this blue color font i can take white okay now select this range only and we will provide some border here so let's take the border color i'm taking this light blue and just click on this all borders go to the view so and uncheck these grid lines so grid lines are not available now okay now we will start creating our timeline here so first we will auto fit these columns so that we will have little more space okay now to create the timeline we will use the formula here so let's use if and with the if we will use and because we will use two logic okay the first logic is if this cell which is f5 our first state and we will put the dollar sign before 5 so that row number should not be changed we are freezing the row number if this cell is greater than or equal to start date so just click here and we will freeze the column so put dollar sign before b comma another logic we will put again this cell and put the dollar before 5 is less than or equal to end date this one and put the dollar before c close the bracket then we will take the status whatever value of a status and put the dollar before e else we will take blank just close the bracket so we will use this formula and just hit the enter okay now we will copy this formula select this range the whole timeline range and paste that okay now what we will do we will use the conditional formatting so let's select this range the whole range and we will go to the format conditional formatting and here we will select is equal to this one if this value is equal to let's take for pending first then we will fill this red color this one for the font also we will take the red color so that font will not be visible okay click on done add another rule again select equal to this one and this time take WIP for WIP we will select yellow color let's take this one and font also same color this one click on done add another rule again select equal to and take here completed this time and we will take green color so let's take this one dark green one same font color click on done and now close this okay now we will put some border here so let's go to the border and click on this outer borders only so our gantt chart is ready now quickly we will do little formatting like for the start date so let's select here let's say blue color and font let's take white and here we will take lighter blue so let's take this one we can apply the same formatting so select these two and click on 
paint format and just click here okay same formatting is applied now select this range till the last and click on merge sets and here you can put the title whatever you want so let's say i'm putting project plan in google sheet now align this center align this middle increase the size and you can change some font so let's say i'm taking this one make this bold and let's take some background color so let's say i'm taking this color and font i'm taking white so our project plan is ready now if i will change here let's say pending this will be automatically in red for completed will be in green in place of 20 if we will take let's say only 5 then the size also will be changed all right friends so friends that is how you can create the project plan or gantt chart in google c friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching